Hey Gemini, how you doing? Welcome to your 2019 horoscope. Well, and by the way, I'm doing this in the old way with the lovely, beautiful sea footage from Kathy, kathywait.com with a C. Um, and I'm, but don't worry, I'm going to be in vision for your weekly and monthly horoscope and taroscopes. So, you know, just tune out and look at the beautiful view and let's go because I tell you what, this is summer year for you. And it kicks off immediately in January where there are two eclipses, which are kind of massive shifts. The first one is on the 6th of January and that's a solar eclipse. And boy, it's going to rock some of your views on life. There's a big shift coming then. You may kind of in the middle of it go, oh, what's happening? It's almost like you're going through life, death and rebirth. There's a, there's a big change. It's about surrendering to what is very real. Um, there may be issues to do with fears. There may be issues to do with secrets. In fact, I have to say, secrets and secrets being revealed and seeing things that were hidden is the general theme of 2019 for you anyway. Uh, there's mystery. There's magic. There's sorcery afoot. All of this is coming your way. And... Um, also, you dealing with uh, your shadow or other people's shadows, seeing the truth, lighting up the darkness with this solar eclipse. And then we have the lunar eclipse, which is in your communication zone. So things are going to be said. Ideas are changing. Uh, a conversation may change everything. There's a, a massive shift connected to something that you hear or experience or think around that time. But it's important. It's not, you know, willy nilly. It's not, it's not something vague. It's something very specific. Now, Venus also changes signs. It goes into your relationship zone. So you're thinking about your intimate relationships. And actually, you're feeling quite positive, I would think, about your relationships in January. If something's not working, you feel positive about change. Again, right from the beginning, uh, you're finding out secrets, you're looking into situations. You may yourself be having a secret conversation around the 18th of January and um, very positive love energy around the 22nd of January with Venus conjunct Jupiter. That's a highlight, a love highlight of the year. It's about expansion. It's good fortune around your love life. And it's about you feeling positive and optimistic about any changes that you have to make. Also, if you fall in love around that time, it will be mind-bendingly fabulous, or certainly it's going to shift you in some way. You may have a sort of sudden intuition around your career around the 19th of February. Uh, Mercury goes retrograde, though, on the 5th of March uh, until the 28th of March, and that's in your career zone. So just make sure at the beginning of the year, if you're going to make any changes career-wise, that you've thought it through and that you know all the facts. There is change coming around your career and you will be heading towards doing things that feel more like what your soul wants. Um, of course, the big news is that Uranus is shifting signs and going into your 12th house of mystery. Now, the last time this occurred was 1934 to 1942. So there's been nothing like it. It's shaking us all up, but for you specifically, there is a theme of magic and mystery which is entering your world now, not just for this year, but for the next seven years or so. So, you know, you're feeling different. You're, you're understanding the importance of empathy and compassion for yourself and for other people. You want to feel things on a deeper level uh, you're diving into your spirituality. You may suddenly become super psychic, super intuitive, or have strange and magical experiences out of the blue. There's a lot of twists of fate. There's a lot of kind of um, unexpected synchronicities and connections. And as I said, one of the big themes is if there's been secrets buried or hidden, they come to the surface and it's going to be boom. You can't ignore them. Uranus is like an explosive surprises uh, and, and that's something and energy you need to get familiar with and to trust from the beginning because it's a long journey. You know, there's no point 
Ignoring your intuition, for instance, there's no point kind of burying your head in the sand. You can't because Uranus is opening you up, expanding your soul, taking you on a journey where your intuition, you have to trust your intuition and, and understand that, that life is very mysterious. And some of those mysteries are going to be revealed to you non-stop for the next seven years, starting this year from March. You might have had a taste of it last year because Uranus did slip into that energy briefly, uh, but now it really does kick off from March. Around the 2nd of April, Mercury conjuncts your ruler Neptune. You have real magic when it comes to your career this year and the opportunity to make money or feel more secure in yourself through doing what your soul and your inner kind of psychic compass tells you is the right thing to do. We have Venus conjunct Neptune as well in your career zone on the 10th. So Venus isn't just about love. Venus is also about finances and cash. So um, your these two coming together, Neptune, which is your guiding light, can sometimes make you feel a bit, have illusions of what's right. But generally, if you ground yourself and follow your, follow your intuition, you can't really go wrong. Um, and that's all joining forces in your career zone. So what do you want to do? What do you feel is your life calling? Uh, if you're in a job and you obviously for practical reasons, you have to stay in that job, then is there a, a, a passion, a hobby, something that you want to do, a creative or spiritual energy you want to invite more into your life? Well, you know, now is the time and April is specifically the time. On the 8th of May, around that time anyway, Mercury is joining forces with Uranus. Some unexpected news is coming your way. A revelation is there. Now, the sun enters your sign on around the 21st of May, and that is uh, great for you. It's when you feel empowered, your energy is boosted, and you're ready to move forward back in the zone. You're quick-witted, you're articulate, you're able to speak your truth uh, people are very compelled to listen to you throughout May and you're kind of really sharing. Can you don't overshare, particularly in a relationship where Mercury opposes Jupiter? It's like you, you want to talk a lot. You want to get your point of view across, but make sure that someone can keep up. That they're on your level enough to, for them to be able to keep up with what you're saying, but also go into your heart and your emotions and feel as well as speak. On the 3rd of June, we have a new moon in your sign and that is, you know, the most important new moon for you because it's all about you and it's when you become the magician. It's when you have all the tools in your hand to magic up a brand new cycle and a new start, dump all the crap, release the baggage and reinvent yourself. Interestingly, Venus also enters um, Gemini on the 9th of June. That's when you have a new start. And that's when you have the love magic around you. You're a love magnet. You're able to transform your relationship with yourself and also entice um, love your way. So make the most of that energy. It's lovely when we have Venus there. It's also a money magnet as well. You're able to just attract good fortune your way. With Venus opposing Jupiter on the 23rd again of June, you may be tempted to go over the top with love. I don't care. Good for you. Go over the top with love. My partner's a Gemini, so I look forward to that. But it can also mean you go too far uh, or you, you, know, you're, you're, you overreach in some way. Mercury goes retrograde again on the 8th of July. A lot of uh, communication issues around that time. You may get everything done before the 8th of July. Otherwise, you're kind of swimming in treacle when it comes to communication and there may be some misunderstandings around that time. You might be wanting to commit to a relationship on a deeper level in September, starting at the beginning of September when Venus joins Saturn. And something feels deep, something feels important, something feels primordial, uh, something feels just very, very intense around your home and family. But you may be kind of, you know, wanting to take the next step. You might think about moving in with someone or moving, or doing something that feels very real. There's a, a big sort of planetary um, happening in the sky around the 3rd of September. And for you, it is around your home and family, your sense of power, your sense of trusting your intuition. There may be a battle between your career and a partner, or career and family, and you have to find your balance within that. But when this kind of energetic happening 
comes in the sky, it makes us realise what our true intentions are. How are we speaking our truth? Are we doing what we need to do to get to where we want to go? Mercury opposes Neptune and Mercury opposes Uranus, um, September the 7th and then October the 7th. So you, there may be sort of times where you feel that, that you are in a battle for your truth and to follow your spirit. But fundamentally, Uranus is going to shake you up and bring the escape hatch you need or the opportunity you need to make changes. At the time, you might not see it as an opportunity, but trust me, it is, even if it's in disguise. There's kind of a, a chance to, again, make money or have a really intense emotional experience around the 21st of October. Mercury is retrograde again on the 31st of October. Um, so if there's something that you want to secure, do it before Halloween 2019. On the 24th of November, Venus joins forces with Jupiter in your relationship zone. Again, that's a highlight for you when it comes to your relationships. And it's you're again being urged to expand, to open up, to try new things, to experience something that, that takes you out of yourself and into a, a deeper emotional state of being. Jupiter shifts signs on the 2nd of December and goes into your very intense house. You may come into money. Uh, in, in 2020, actually, through an inheritance or through um, something unexpected that involves you being in your power. Anyway, uh, we end the year with a new moon eclipse in that position. So there's, there's quite a lot of intensity at the end of 2019. And you're being shown, really, if you have risen to the challenge and stepped into your power. But I believe you will. Take care, gorgeous. And I'll speak to you soon. Hello, wonderful one. Thank you so much for listening. It would be fabulous if you liked, subscribed or shared. It would be really, really helpful. Also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. Horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there.